Uh, All right, fantastic. So today we're gonna make fireworks in a jar, and we're gonna start with cooking oil in a little cup. And then you're gonna need so are you gonna do outside. Is this gonna be a big one or it's gonna be a little one in a jar. And we're gonna take oh. food color. So you're gonna make it blue. Some of my fireworks will be blue, that's right, because I have blue food coloring. I also have um Green food coloring, so I'm gonna add a few drops of green. And then I'm gonna add, do you want pink or magenta, Ryan? Magenta. Magenta, so we're gonna add some magenta right here. I'm gonna add three drops of magenta food coloring. And I'm gonna wait till all of it sinks to the bottom. And then I'm gonna mix it up, cause look how big my droplets of color are. If they're that big, it won't look like fireworks. So I'm gonna stir it all up. So all of my little bubbles are super, super tiny. Look at all those little drops of color inside my oil. And then I'm gonna slowly add it to a jar of water. And I'm gonna hold it this way. Dump in all of my oil and see how my oil's gone all the way up to the top. When my oil starts to settle at the top, look, can you start, can you see the color starting to sink down? I see the purple starting to sink. I see the green starting to sink. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. That oh. That's so crazy. Look how it's moving on its own. I'm not doing anything to make it move. It's not shaking. No, I'm not shaking it. It's slow fire. It does kind of look like smoke. You're right. I think I put in too much food coloring again, even though I put in a lot less than I put this morning. This morning I put a lot of food coloring in there and it, it changed so fast, I could barely see the fireworks before it got too dark. You're recording. I did record that because I wanted people to see it and I'm gonna stop recording now. Because